What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Source Source Craft Craft Hermit Hermit Mod 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 Source Source Craft Craft Hermit Hermit. Yeah, there's a new one for you. Um I have upgrade updated a couple of mods because um I really want to play with some new features. So you can see here my uh, my Lexica Britannia is actually the hundred and thirty seventh edition. Sorry about that. Alright, um, yes, and when you open to the front page, you have all these pretty pretties. It's so nicely organised and looks really cool. And when you're inside something, you can type, and it will bring up a uh, search menu straight away, which is really cool. That's the portal to Alfheim. And uh, the main reason I wanted to upgrade um, or update Britannia was so that I could actually make a... Uh, no, um... I think it starts with Terra. Yes, a Terra Steel agglomeration plate. Agglomeration plate. Um, this is how you make Terra Steel now. You don't actually need a uh, beacon. Well, I haven't got the NEI thing that says how to do it. But basically, you uh, you get a Terra Steel agglomeration plate and you put lapis and living rock underneath it. And you throw a mana pearl, a mana diamond, and a mana steel on it. And then it uses about half a mana pool's worth of mana. Also, mana, 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 mana. It uses about half a mana steel's pool, uh, half a mana pool's worth of mana, and it will create a single piece of uh, terra steel. So it is extremely expensive. But uh, there's a couple of other features that I wanted to play around with. So, uh, first thing I want to do is I want to grab me some long grass. Do 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 do. Because if this uh, if this works the way I think it should work, then I'm going to be very happy about that. It's going to be very interesting as well. Do 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 do. Uh, that's. Mm, yeah, that's enough. I only actually need 16. But yes, um, right, so the grass you place in here to make the pasture seed. You guys remember that, surely. And uh, I actually prefer doing it like this. <laughs> I love throwing one, like, a stack of items on there and just having a whole bunch of stuff be returned to you. So, um, you can make, um,. Mystical flowers, no, no, no. What the hell is floral fertilizer? Huh, interesting. I have no idea what that is. Um, ah, here we go. Glimmering flowers. You can make glimmering flowers, which are just like uh, the normal flowers, but they glow. And then you can take the glimmering flowers and you can put them on a floating island. You need a pasture seed, dirt, and a glimmering flower. Let's just check see if it works with a normal flower. Uh, dirt anywhere? So it would be pasture seed there, dirt there, and flower. No, okay, it only works with a glimmering flower. Just two glowstone. Now, one of the reasons I was so eager to update was because I believe that this um, this version of the mod allows you to use functional flowers to make your glimmerings and not just normal flowers. Huh, it won't work with that. Will it work with that? Damn it, this must not be the version. Fuck. I thought this was the version of the mod that allowed you to use functional flowers. But yeah, you can make these and then you just place them and they float. And they give off light equal to glowstone, and that's what the glimmering is all about. And uh, if you have Thorncraft installed, you can put these around your Thormic uh, infusion altar, and it will increase the stability, much like having skulls around it. See, that's weird. I thought that... Um... No, see? I thought this was the version, but it's not. I'm going to have to see if... I uh, have to find the next version. I thought this was the version where you could use functional flowers to make your floating things, and then you could have floating functional flowers. So what you can do 
is you can take all of these and stack the flowers one on top of the other and stack the water on top of each other and just have a uh, an extremely simple uh, like space saving method but damn it it doesn't work fuck um I'm really disappointed by that. I was hoping it was going to work. But, oh well. We can still try and make a Terra Steel agglom agglomeration plate. Uh, we need a rune of fire, air, mana, earth, and water. Wow. That's expensive. Really? Come on, where's the runes? Functional... Uh, baubles? Natural apparatus? Nope. Um... What about mystical items? Miscellany. Hmm. I wonder if I can find the Terra Steel agglomeration plate in here. Uh, it's got to be in here somewhere, isn't it? Terra Steel? Um, ah, here we go, yeah. Creating the plates. Oh, terrestrial agglomeration plate. Damn it! It's very hard to say. Set on top of a checkerboard pattern of lapis blocks and living rock. Mana will be needed and sparks will be the most efficient way of getting mana. And I haven't shown you guys sparks yet, so we need rune of fire, air, earth, water. What do we have in here? Water, fire, air, earth. Very nice. So we just need a rune of mana. Uh, which is... What is a rune of mana made of? Five mana steel and a mana pearl. And quite a lot of mana as well. Damn! Five of that, and I just need a mana pearl. Mana pearl. There it is. <laughs> Thing is, we actually don't have enough mana yet. Now, this is um, hopefully going to work. Yeah, you see uh, just to the right of my crosshair, there is a icon showing what is being created, and it has a little bar that goes up on it every time it receives a proper mana burst and that shows how long we have to craft now what I'm thinking is I should probably get a couple more uh, mana pools set down and a couple more mana spreaders so that I can craft stuff on here faster and I have better places to store all my mana uh, there we go. Uh, that gives me my five uh, rooms. That's what they're called. Now I just need four blocks of lapis and a block of mana steel. Hey, why do it the long way when I can do it the easy way? <laughs> uh, uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, you can just craft that straight into it. Let's put that down. Now I just need some lapis. And I need more lapis for the floor as well, and then I need uh, living rock. Hmm, where am I going to put this? I want to put it over here. Is that just a skeleton running away from me? Hello, skeleton. Ow. Oh, yeah, I haven't got my knockback thing on. Fuck off, skeleton. By the way, I found a kitty cat. And it was killed as well. How was it killed? Huh. Oh, the cat one won't tell me how it was killed. That's annoying. I can't remember how it was killed. I think it might have been a creeper, which would be beautifully ironic for a cat. Right, that there. And do, do, do. I wonder if these all have to be in the exact right position. Ah, you fucking bet they do. No, fire, air... There we go. Terrestrial agglomeration plate. That's quite an expensive block there, I'll say that. So, um, yeah, fuck these. I can't be asked to wait for these to grow. I've been waiting to break these. Wait, did you just come from the top of my house? Rude bastard. I've been waiting for those to grow so that I could uproot them and plant them somewhere else. And I will do that uh, later. Fuck off! Seriously. Leave me be. I'm busy. 
So it's a checkerboard of lapis and uh, living rock. So I think this would work. It says lapis first. You assume the lapis is going to be the more prevalent one there. And then we just pop that on there. Now I have no idea if this is um, working or not. I don't know if that's built right or if it's built wrong. And I don't really know how to test. So what we need to do is build a spark. Uh, here we go, spark from Britannia. They're kind of cool things actually. I don't know if the colour of the petal changes anything. Blaze powder, nugget, mana petals. Well, we've got a bunch of orange. So we'll use orange. Uh, blaze powder shouldn't really be a problem. No, there's two, and I've got a few blaze rods. Which I'll just stick in the uh, sag mill. And what's the other thing? Gold nuggets. That's what I need. Gold nuggets. And yay! That was quick. Got a stack of blaze powder quicker than I would have thought. And this gets us some sparks. Now these things are really cool, just to like, just to look at. Can they? Only, they can only be placed in certain places. Now I know one of the places they can be placed is on top of a mana pool. Yeah, look at that. That is pretty cool, right? Oh my god, stuff turns invisible behind it. It's one of those textures. And if we place another one on top of our terrestrial agglomeration plate, we should see. Uh, that they, they bind together. I'm not sure if you actually have to bind them. No, you don't. If I place that down, a line forms between the two. Yeah, so that should be about, about right. And I'll tell you what we can do. If we dump some mana into here, we can see if we actually have everything we need to make a, uh, a mana uh, terra steel. We can see if we have everything we need to make it. Which we should do, because we have... We can see if we've actually got this right as well by placing it down and see if it works. Is that empty? No, nope, not yet. So yeah, this should take about half a mana pool's worth of mana. And in fact, do I have a spare mana pool anywhere? Because I can speed this up dramatically. What I can do is just place down another mana pool with a spark on top of it. And that should connect. Ah, oh, actually, it looks like that connected in the wrong way. If I put this mana pool over here, like that, and put the spark down, yeah, then this connects to that. And then I can just do accepting mana, and I can put some mana in here, and then both of them will feed the uh, thing when they need to. So I just need to make one of those, one of those, and grab me one of those. Not much in there, is there? Uh, I have a spare mana pool, uh, mana tablet even. It's always useful to keep a couple of mana tablets on you. You never know when you're going to want the, you know, like mana mining speed, haste, and stuff like that. So we have the terrestrial agglomeration plate. We have the two mana pools which we are filling up. It should only take half a mana pool worth of mana. So I'd like to have plenty in each of them. And then we just throw a mana steel, a mana pearl, and a mana diamond on there. No, that didn't work. Also, there's a zombie coming at me. Two of them, in fact. Assholes. Did, seriously? Wow. Oh, I just heard a mana burst. Right, I need to make sure they actually land on here, which is surprisingly hard to do. Is that going to work? I don't think so. I think I got the, um, I think I got the plating wrong underneath. So it's living rock around the outside. That's easy enough to fix, though. That's not too bad. So that would mean it goes that there. I need my living rock. What am I doing? I've got to say, this lapis looks really nice with this texture pack. 
I may have to use some of it for uh, other stuff. Now that, that, and that. There we go. So this is going to start crafting now, and it's going to draw a quarter of a mana pools, a quarter of an entire mana pool from each of these mana pools. And uh, we have a Terra Steel. So that shit's expensive, yo. I mean, technically, we have enough mana to make another one. But I don't necessarily need two uh, Terra Steel for anything. If I could make four, I would gladly make some boots or something. Let's have a look at what we've got in here. Yeah, there's still plenty left in there. So this is the reason I've been saving up so much mana. Because I knew I was going to have big mana expenditures coming up very soon. Very soon? Um, but yeah, the mana, the um, the sparks above the mana pool. If they link, if they find something they can feed mana to, they will feed it at an extraordinarily high rate. If you tried to use mana spreaders to send enough mana to fill up one of these, it would take. Like I haven't actually tested it because I got bored of waiting, but it takes easily over five minutes to craft a thing, and you do not want to be waiting that long. I mean, I suppose if you did that, you could make it fully automated to the point where you never had to, uh, uh, you never had to stop crafting because you had more mana coming in than was going out. I mean, that's that's a possibility. But yes, Terra Steel, Terra Firma Rod, the Mana Mirror, Terra Steel Armor, which is kind of badass, and oh, the Terra Shatterer. I really need to play to play with that thing. That is ridiculous. Ooh, the Terra Blade. <laughs> See, that's really funny because from um, uh, yes, from random things we have the Spectre Armor and the enemies which turn into spirits when they die, and then you can craft the Spectre Armor. And from the uh, Batania, we have the Terra Steel and the Terra Blade. Which is basically the same thing from Terraria. They are it's like between them we basically have Terraria. What's this? Band of mana, that's the one that holds it. Band of aura, that generates mana, that's kinda cool. Nature pylon? I have no idea what that is. So yeah, there's a cool, few cool things you can make, and the thing I really like about the armor, it increases your maximum health. So this gives you three extra hearts, legs give you two and a half. Uh, helmet gives you two and a half, and the boots give you two. So if you wear the entire set of armor, you get an extra ten hit points. And on top of the ten hit points, I already have extra, as you can see, because I have my yellow hearts. So yeah, I have my ten red heart canisters, and it gives me ten extra hearts. Yeah, it's really cool, actually. I kind of... Uh, I really like stuff that's got a cool, unique crafting mechanic behind it. And I kind of want to make some more Terra Steel. No, not that. Why do I want to do that? So it should just be that. No, nope. not the Terra Steel, for fuck's sake. I want to throw the Mana Steel, the diamond. Oh, that's not just a normal diamond. Hang on a minute. That would have been bad. Now you do have to be careful about some things, like if you uh, are trying to craft this but don't have enough mana, um, as soon as you place down all the ingredients, fuck, the uh, the sparks will start transferring mana even though it's uh, you don't have enough to finish the operation. So you need to be aware of that. Uh, you could actually accidentally not have enough mana and then just waste you know, half a mana pool's worth well, almost half the mana pool's worth, and not have the crafting complete. Look at that, nice and quick. Feeding it with two mana pools is definitely the way to go. I'm a big fan of that. I might make a mana mirror, because that thing's really cool. Whew. That, takes a, that terra firma rod takes a spring, summer, autumn, and winter. That sucks, because those are all the really hard to make runes that require other runes and stuff. That sucks so hard. 
You know what I really need to do is I need to get some even better mana generation. These are okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're, they're pretty damn good, and six of them is uh, too much for one mana spread to handle, which is awesome. But I need even better mana generation, and I don't know what to go with. I mean, there's the one that eats lava, but I don't have a good source of lava. I mean, I could go to the nether, and I could just pump lava out, and then I could use a floodgate or something to place some lava. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I think the, the floodgate's the BC factory one. There's a mechanism item that will do it. Mechanism. It's some kind of pump. Man, they have a lot of stuff going on here. Fluid plunger. Fluidic plunger. I think that's the one. Ah, fuck's sake. I had the thing pressed down. Uh, fluidic plunger. Creating lakes and filling ravines with fluid. Yeah, so that will work. I just have to be very careful that I don't place it in the wrong place and accidentally, you know, flood all of this with lava. That would actually be kind of cool. Just all of this flooded with the lava, lava up until, like, this level. I'd be down with that. <laughs> that would actually be kind of awesome to see. <laughs> oh, I may have to make a time lapse and just, you know, just pump infinite lava into here and watch it fill up. Uh, so, um, yeah, the, I'm not sure if there's any new mana generation mechanics. I don't think there is. Daybloom, Endoflame, Entropinium. You know, Entropinium might be a good way of going. TNT. It does require a Rune of Wrath and a Rune of Fire, though. Uh, I've probably got a Fire Rune still. Yeah. Uh, the Rune of Wrath, on the other hand, is a Rune of Earth and a Rune of Winter. What the fuck? Seriously? So it takes Rune of Earth and Water and then Cake and then a Rune of that and then Rune of Earth and two Diamonds and then a Rune of Fire. Holy shit! I don't want to make that. Screw that. Eat up any food in the area. Uh... Yeah, it, it, it gives mana equal to the amount of food points. So steak gives four seconds, carrot two, bread two and a half. Uh, it's more efficient. A single steak is more efficient than two carrots. It also makes use of this value, but in a different way. Okay, so... See, we could probably make that. The Gory Marilis. I'm guessing that all the good, all the really good flowers take like runes of summer and shit to make. Which I'm not happy about because I hate having to make multi stage runes. Uh, Hydro Drangers? Actually, can I just put a spark on here? Damn it. Um, no, I don't think I can. Damn, that'd be really good if I could. I'll tell you what I can do though, I can just grab a second mana spreader from here and just uh, aim it at this. Then I have two of them that will be uh, working towards filling it up so it will go quicker. Even though the only mana this thing's ever going to get is going to come uh, from me putting it in there manually. So let's see. What do I want to make? There's the Kekimoros, what's that? That's the one that eats cake. Okay, the Munch Dew is the one that eats leaves. Nightshade? Oh, that's the, yeah, the opposite of the Day Bloom. What's the Rose Arcana? Eats experience. Of players on the ground around it. Wait, does that mean it eats my experience or eats experience from the world? Because I could work with either. That's the one that eats lava. Man, is that all the flowers? All the generating flowers? Shit, it is. Hmm. I think I want to try a Gorimalis. Uh, Goram... Goramaro... This fucking flower. I want to try this fucking flower. So I'm going to need fire. I'm going to need a summer rune. Which means... Air and earth. And some other stuff. 
I have earth runes. So I need runes of air. That's not too bad. Man of steel, carpet, feather, string. That's just weird. Why carpet? I got stuck in the door. Um, in fact, do I have any carpet out here? Because I've had to make one of these before. Um, well, there's some string and feathers as well. I want to make two sets of this anyway, so. Um, I have no idea where carpet would be if I had any. Right, not in there. Oh, nope. Uh, there it is, two carpet. And then just some mana steel. I'm probably going to need some more of that stuff. Because I am blazing through my mana steel. It's cool, I can just do this. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I love watching that guy, that is so cool. Uh, that, and then that, and that. Now that we have two uh, mana spreaders feeding it, it should go twice as fast. Every time it ticks up, it should tick twice. Which essentially means twice as fast. Uh, yeah, it is. Cool. And it's getting late again, and I can't be asked to deal with all those bastards outside fighting me. Or trying to fight me, I should say. Also, yeah, I, f I totally forgot. That last episode. I'm so sorry about the last episode of um, this. The last one I put out. It kind of went bad. Like, Fraps crashed while I was recording it, and... Um, then I had some problems trying to fix that, but then it got even worse, and basically, I managed to fix it best I could. Hang on a minute, did I place that string somewhere? Where's the string? Carpet, and a steel, feather. Fuck, I must have placed the string on the floor somewhere. I really hate the fact that you can play string sometimes. Especially when I'm playing with Metal Mosher, he always uses it to troll me. There we go. No, let me fill that back in. Why the hell did I have that in my hand? <laughs> There's the string. I knew I'd placed it somewhere. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Um, just drop some stuff away. Should be ready to go any second. Uh, yeah, there we go. I thought maybe you could place a spark above this to let it uh, feed off it like the terrace de agglomeration plate does, but no, you can't. Which is a shame, because I really like it when you can uh, speed stuff up. I'm kind of all about speeding stuff up. Uh, now we just need melon, slime ball, sand, sand. Yeah, I've definitely made one of these before. I can't remember why though. Slime ball, melon, sand, sand. Maybe I had to make it for a thing. And then what is it? Two mana steel? Oh no, the rune of air and the rune of earth. That's right. What am I missing? Sand, sand, slime, melon, air, earth. That's a rune of fire. There we go. Also, I should probably charge up this a little bit from here. Man. I need a lot more mana. But that's what this guy is for. Hopefully I will be able to get decent mana from him by feeding him food. That gives me the rune of Samaria. Uh, yeah, then fire, then light grey, three yellow and a red. Uh, Two light grey, three yellow and red. <laughs> Make 
Let's actually drop two yellow mana, one grey mana. Do that. And that. So light grey, two yellow mana. So we do mystical that. Those two a yellow. Two reds, one red. I like how you can shift right click to get it out, and then a rune of fire and a rune of summer. Rune of fire, rune of summer, and then some seeds to bind it all together. Yeah, there we go. There's our Gori Maru, which uh, looks pretty cool actually. You could very, very easily um, distinguish it for something that it wasn't. Ah, yeah, I don't have a ma I don't have um, a mana spreader to that for that to accept to accept from that I should say. So why don't we build one? We'll just put that one there. Uh, I kind of want it one higher. Oh. This doesn't give me the three block high jump. Oh no, that would be the uh, the boots of the traveler that did that. Then we will bind that to there, bind that to there, and then just check that that's bound up there. It is good. Now, so we feed it food, and the higher the health value on the food, the better. So. If you guys watched my Agrarian Skies, you'd know that they had their own custom food mod in there, which added a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, oh yeah, of course. So what if I search for pizza? Everyone loves pizza. Pizza's awesome. Yeah, here we go. We have Supreme Pizza, and that heals one, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half. And the normal pizza heals less. Uh, what about my Bream and Lees? They do two and a half, so they heal as much hunger as a bread does. So what, we just throw that on the floor, and it eats it. That's really cool. That's really cool. And it looks like that's about all it's going to gain. So it didn't gain much from that. It was only really one good bite. So, can we make some food that's better? I know that what we can do is we can take bread... And do we have any meat in here? We do, we have beef. Um, let's see, we can make uh, burgers, which aren't too bad, well, aren't too uh, hard to make, but will it be better than the combined total? So a normal hamburger is four. I think a cooked beef gives four, doesn't it? Yeah, steak on its own gives four. And I know that if we cook bread, it makes it even better. Bread alone gives two and a half. But if you cook it, it turns it into toast, and it gives three and a half. So it just completely makes it a better food for no reason, which I really like. Now, let's see what happens if I take a stack of toast. Did it eat all of that? Mana spread is full. Now, wait a minute, I remember. Yeah... I read that in the book. If you throw a stack, then it will only eat one piece, and the rest of it just gets um, deleted, basically. So what we should do is we should set up something like this, but for the Gormarilis, I cannot work out that name. Gormarilis. Gormarilis. I suppose that makes sense. I mean, uh, food is gourmet. So a piece of steak seems to fill up a mana spreader. So that's not too bad. I mean, we could just set something like this up on a very simple redstone timer circuit so that it automatically outputs and I have to flip a switch off to turn the whole thing off. But uh, I'm not sure if that's how I want to go about this. 
I want to try basically every type of flower and see uh, what their generation is like. And now that I don't need to eat, I'm not so worried about uh, having to keep hold of food and stuff. So, I mean, I could easily make something that just drops... Oh, wow, these are terrible berries on their own. They give half each, and four of them give me seven. That's not too bad. Um... What about something a little different, like a golden carrot? Ah, that just gives three. I was hoping that a golden carrot would give more hunger and less saturation. What about my epic bacon, which I really want to be, uh... Like, even though I don't need to eat, I want to, and I want to eat epic bacon. See, that's probably the best thing you can make, and all it takes is some dyes. And I forgot to tell you this, uh, you can make those dyes out of these petals. If you skip past all these... What's that? Unstable cube. I have no idea what that does. <laughs> there we go. You need a mess porter, mortar and pestle. A mesel, pestle and mortar, that's why. It screwed me up. I always call it a mortar and pestle, but they put pestle first. Yeah. Stick, wood and bowl. And then you can grind your flowers uh, into uh, dust. Mm -hmm. There's a dark oak plank, that'll do. Uh, yeah, you can grind down all your flower petals into flower dust, and that dust counts as a dye. These should, in fact, you know what I can do? I can do F3H, close that. Close that, and you should be able to see. There you go. You can see the ore dictionary name. So this is now a die. Is that the right ore dict name? Ah, there we go. It it ore dicts to any die. So it should count as a die. Uh, red die. Yeah. So what I can do is I can get the colours I need for the epic bacon. What the hell is that? Cobalt ingot. Wow, that's cool. I'm sure I looked at that before. Um, yeah, I can get the colours I need from the various flowers, and then I can make the epic bacon, which I think is really, really cool, and I really, really want to eat it, because it's a rainbow bacon. Who doesn't want to eat rainbow bacon? I mean, really. Rainbow bacon is sweet. I want to eat that shit for real. That sounds cool. Ah oh, yeah. So it will it will eat anything you put in there, but it won't um, digest most of it. It will only digest the first thing if it's already got mana. It's like the other flower. There's the um, the one that takes explosions, Entropinium, and that flower will eat an explosion. But if you set off another explosion while it's already got mana. It won't eat it, and the explosion will damage blocks. Hmm. Yeah, feeding one flower is never going to be enough to f keep a mana pool stocked. I mean, look what I've got over here. I've got... What is this? This is a... Uh, four, seven by... Seven by seven? Forty-nine. Yeah. And then I've got 20 of these hydrodrangers as well. And they do that. You know what I should do? I should make this shoot to that. I should take the uh, take the mana lens off the front of it, and then set this to bind to that. Then we can feed both mana pools, which uh, means we have twice the storage. It means we have a good amount of mana generated for this pool, because we have the uh, the flowers generating the mana, which is awesome. And... Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with some of these flowers. I'm not sure if they are actually, like, out of places to... Uh, yeah, it looks like right now these ones are full, but some of them aren't. Like this one, and this one's still sending into there. 
Also, people keep asking why. I, people ask me why I click so much. That's how you check your mana amount. You click it once and it updates, and the flower works very quickly. I mean, you can just hold it, but that's that's not as satisfying as clicking it a load. It's like how you check how much fluid you have in one of these drums. You don't just click it once. You have to click it a few times, especially if you've got the drum hooked up to anything that could be putting fluid in. Then you have to click it a whole bunch of times just because. It's just how some people play the game, you know? Why do I hear zombies? Oh yeah, of course. I'm outside and it's night time. Fuck your zombie heads. Also, apparently you can find those heads themselves as enemies. And he gave me hunger. Damn bastard. Anyway guys, I think I'm going to have to end this episode here for now. Uh, maybe I'll make some more Terra Steel between this episode and next. And when I come back, we could do something cool with Terra Steel. Because uh, you actually need Terra Steel to open that elven portal I was talking about. You need Terra Steel to make some of the blocks that makes that portal to the elf realm. So, uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We've done some really cool stuff and seen some awesome-looking blocks. I will see you next time. Peace out.